This is question one from paper one from the SQA new hire specimen paper. We're asked to integrate this fraction. The integration rules would state that if you have a power of x, you can integrate it by increasing the power by 1 and dividing by the new power. Remember the constant of integration. If there's a let, uh, if there's a number multiplying that, then the answer gets multiplied by that number. So that would be the rule. The other rule is that if you've got some expression in x and another expression in x that are added together, then you can integrate each expression separately. So to integrate the first one and then add the result of integrating the second one. So these are the two rules we're going to use. We certainly haven't, at this stage, got an expression that any of these rules cover. We've got a power of x plus 1 in the top and a power of x in the bottom. That isn't covered by these rules. So our first task is to split this fraction up. Now, splitting fraction up, if we look at something like 2 plus 4 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, which is 3, and think that the whole of the 2 plus 4, the whole of this top line, is being divided by 2. The 2 is being divided by 2. The 4 is being divided by 2. We get 1 plus 2 there, which also comes to 3. So we're allowed to split a fraction like this into the sum of two fractions like this. That's what we'll do here. So we're integrating the 3x cubed has to be divided by the 2x squared and the 1 has to be divided by the 2x squared. Now this first expression here 3 over 2 x cubed divided by x squared either you can you can think of it as 3x is multiplied over 2x is multiplied and cancelling these out to get 1x or subtract the indices 3 minus 2 is x to the power 1. So this cancels down to 3 over 2 times x plus we keep the 2 on the bottom but the x to the 2 can go up to the top of that fraction become x to the minus 2. Now, that's using one of the, the laws of indices, which says x to the minus n is 1 over x to the n. So a power on the bottom of a fraction moves up to the top, multiplies the 1, uh, and the power changes to a negative. So we're now in the happy position that we've got a couple of expressions that we can integrate separately. So in this one, we've got three x and we increase this 1 to a 2 and divide by the 2 which basically joins the 2 in the bottom of the fraction uh, and multiplies it. So 3x squared divided by 2 which joins the 2 in the bottom. Uh, this one we increase this negative 2 by 1. Remember the, the number line if you're sitting at minus 2 and you increase that by 1, there's 0. If you increase that by 1, you've arrived at negative 1. You're not arriving at negative 3, which is a common mistake. So we increase negative 2 by 1 to get negative 1 and divide by the negative 1, which joins the 2 in the bottom. Remember always the constant of integration. So we've now got 3 quarters of x squared. This x to the negative 1 goes down to the bottom of the fraction and becomes x to a positive 1, just an x. And the 2 times negative 1, that would be negative 2x plus c. So we're almost there. 3 quarters x squared. Uh, positive divided by negative is negative. Or if we're adding a negative, it's just like subtracting a so it's basically 1 over 2x plus c. And that's our final answer for that integration.